So I've discovered over the years teaching that the distance and midpoint formulas have approximately a 92.6% chance of freaking people out when they first see them. So I <laughs> decided that it's probably worth showing where the distance formula comes from because it's pretty easy to understand once you sort of work out where, you know, where we come up with this crazy series of letters and numbers here. Um, the Pythagorean theorem by this point is probably easy enough for, your, for everybody to work with because we've used it enough and it's relatively simple. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, the distance formula is really just an application of the Pythagorean theorem. So let me show you how it applies directly. First of all, when we see the Pythagorean theorem, we don't actually show um, in the formula in its, uh, in its sort of standard view exactly how to find any given side of a triangle. All we know is how to compare the squares of the different sides. Say, for instance, I wanted to write this formula so that I knew exactly what C was without having to worry about doing something after I was done filling out the formula. Well, to do that, I'd need to solve for C. So let me rewrite this with C on the leading edge. C equals A squared plus B squared. Then, if I wanted to solve for C, I'd have to take the square root of both sides, because right now I just know what C squared is. Well, that would tell me that C would be equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now already it's starting to look a little more like this formula over here. Now the distance formula tells us the distance between any two given points on a coordinate plane. And all we have to do is input the information about those points. So what I'm going to do is just make up a couple of points here. Let's say we have one at uh, x is 2 and y is 3. And that we have another point over here at, uh, I don't know, x is negative 4 and y is 7. Yeah. So if we have these two points, what the distance formula does is tell us the distance between them all in one shot without having to do any other calculations. Normally, we would go through and we'd calculate the difference in the y's, you know, how far up it is between them, and then how far over it is between them. But the distance formula just tells us in a straight shot what the line here that represents c on a triangle would be. To do that, it takes the difference between the two x-coordinates. That's what this, this x1 minus x2 is in here. So we're finding side A right here by finding the difference between the x-coordinate on one point and the x-coordinate on the other point. So in this case, the difference between negative 4 and 2. Well, to find the difference between two things, we just subtract them, right? So our A here would be negative 4 minus 2 or 6, negative 6. Well, our, if our a is negative 6, that's where that comes from, this x1 minus x2. Now we could put negative 6 squared in, and we're already closer to finding that missing sign that we're looking for, right? c is equal to negative 6 squared. Although we need to find b, well, b is going to be the difference between the y-coordinate and the y-coordinate, so it's going to be the difference between 7 and 3. 7 minus 3 is 4, so that's going to be 4 squared. And we have to add the two of them together to find c. So the distance formula is really just one x point minus the other x point, so that we can find the difference between the two x values, square that, and add it to the difference between the two y points, also squared. And then we take the square root of the whole thing so that we go straight to our missing side instead of having to find it and then take the square root. So for our little triangle right here, we have negative 6 squared, that's 36, and 4 squared, that's 16. That's 46, that's 52. So c equals the square root of 52, which isn't an even number, but since the square root of 49 is 7, it's a little bit more than 7. So we're just going to say c is about 7.2, say. So we can use this distance formula instead of having to go through and figure out what the sides are in the Pythagorean uh, theorem and then plugging them all in and then substituting back. We just take the points that we're given directly and put them into the distance formula, which is the Pythagorean theorem.